In this lesson, let's talk about ordering numbers in scientific notation. Let's say we're given a list of numbers and we need to put them in order, but the numbers are in scientific notation. Here's an example. In this word problem, we're asked to look at some planets and consider their distances from the sun and then put them in order of distance from the sun, starting with the planet closest to the sun. So that's going to be least to greatest order, least to greatest. So let's take a look at that list of numbers and see them. We've got planet A, which is 7.783 times 10 to the 8th. And then we've got planet B, which is 1.082 times 10 to the 8th. And then finally, we have planet C, which is 5.899 times 10 to the 9th. Now, putting these numbers in scientific notation in order is actually fairly simple. We're going to follow two steps. First, we're going to compare the exponents, and then we'll compare the decimals. We'll compare the decimals. So let's compare those exponents first. The smallest numbers are going to be the ones that have the smallest exponents. So we've got a tie here for smallest. Both of these are 10 to the 8th power. So then we'll compare the decimals. Which one of these is the smallest decimal? Well, 1.082 is clearly the smallest. So our answer would be 1.082 times 10 to the 8th. And then that'll be number 1. And then number 2 would be 7.783 times 10 to the 8th. And then finally, our number with the largest exponent would come last, 5.899 times 10 to the ninth. And there we have them in order from least to greatest. Here we have another example, and this time we're using negative exponents. So we're giving some atoms, and the radii of an atom, if you want to think about it, the radii of an atom is this. It's the distance from here to here of that atom, if you think of it as a circle. The radii of three atoms are as following. Atom 1 measures 1.8 times 10 to the negative 8. 1.8 times 10 to the negative 8. And then atom 2 is 1.97 times 10 to the negative 8. And then atom 3 is 5.3 times 10 to the negative 7th. So once again, we're going to follow our same two steps. We're going to compare the exponents first, and then we'll compare the decimals. So let's see which exponents are going to be the smallest. Well, when we're dealing with negative numbers, the negative exponents are the smallest. So something to the negative eighth is going to be smaller than something to the negative seventh. So we have a tie for smallest here. Which one is the smallest? Well, 1.8 is clearly the smaller decimal, so that's going to be our smallest one. 1 1.8 times 10 to the negative 8 is going to be smallest. Then 1.97 times 10 to the negative 8. And then lastly, 5.3 times 10 to the negative 7th, because negative 7th is the greatest. Now, are we done? No, we're not, because we didn't read the problem carefully. Problem says order from greatest to smallest. So I've got to flip these around. This is just a reminder when you're doing your problems, pay careful attention. Pay careful attention to whether it says least to greatest or greatest to least. Since it's greatest to least, I'm simply going to flip these guys around and then I'll have my answer 1.8 times 10 to the negative eighth. And I am done.